Why has your healthcare professional recommended testing for penicillin allergy? There are two main reasons uh, to be tested for penicillin allergy. The first one is that most patients who carry this label of penicillin allergy when tested are actually not found to be allergic. In fact, less than five in a hundred patients who carry this penicillin allergy label are actually found to be allergic when they're tested. The second reason is that this label of penicillin allergy, which is often inaccurate, can be harmful to your health. There are several reasons this is the case. One is that often patients who are allergic to penicillin are treated with other alternative antibiotics. These alternative antibiotics may not be as effective as penicillin. Furthermore, these antibiotics can cause other health problems, such as antibiotic-associated infections, other serious illness, and in rare cases, even increased death from carrying this penicillin allergy label. Patients who have a penicillin allergy label often stay in the hospital for longer periods of time. Since most patients are not allergic, it's important to remove this label because it causes harm to your health. The only way to figure out whether you're allergic to penicillin is through testing. How is penicillin testing performed? In patients who are determined to be at low risk for penicillin allergy, penicillin testing can be performed through what's called a direct challenge. A direct oral challenge is a safe way to determine whether you're allergic to penicillin. The procedure is simple. You will be given a form of penicillin such as amoxicillin and swallow it and then observe for a period of time to see if you have a reaction. Direct amoxicillin challenge can be formed as either a one-step or a two-step procedure. Based on your history, your healthcare professional will determine whether a one- or two-step procedure is most appropriate for you. With the two-step challenge, you will be first given a small dose of amoxicillin and if that's tolerated, a larger dose. With a single-step challenge, you'll just be given the larger dose and observed afterwards. If I'm allergic to penicillin, what kind of reaction would I have? Most patients who have a label of penicillin allergy are found not to be allergic to penicillin. However, for those few patients who may still be allergic, the most common reaction seen with the direct challenge is a rash. This is typically an itchy rash, usually in the form of hives. More severe reactions are very rare. Your healthcare team will have all the appropriate medications needed to treat any type of allergic reaction. Are there any other type of reactions that may occur during a direct challenge? While allergic reactions to direct challenges are very rare, some patients may have symptoms that are not related to allergy. Most of these symptoms are due to the stress of undergoing a test for something that you've been told you are allergic to. Stress responses can definitely occur during direct challenges. Some of the more common symptoms are itching without a rash and tingling in the lips, tongue, or hands. In addition to stress, sometimes antibiotics can cause non-allergic adverse effects, with the most common one being nausea. None of these symptoms are considered to be signs of a penicillin allergy. What does a negative direct challenge mean? Most patients who are tested with a direct challenge are found to be negative. What this means is that you can now take penicillin in the future. Rarely, some patients may develop a rash several days after testing. If this occurs, let your healthcare professional know. What should I do now that I've been tested and found not to be allergic to penicillin? The first thing to recognize is that you can now take penicillin in the future without any additional testing. Many patients have carried a label of penicillin allergy for many years and in some cases most of their lives. Therefore, when you are asked about whether you're allergic to penicillin, you have to remember to say no instead of yes. It is also important to tell your pharmacy and any other healthcare professionals that you see in the future to update their records to indicate that you are not allergic to penicillin.